request and receive HTTP response. Currently we are in section 3 and we are about to check out the 5th video of this section. Well in this video we will implement our step number 3. So in the previous video we created this function. So we will use this function to create an anonymous inner class object that implements this destination service interface. So for this I will modify the code within my destination list activity and make this page fetch data from the server. So go to your destination list activity and there down below you will find this code which was meant to be replaced by retrofit code in future. Right now let us comment it. So I will use build service function that belongs to service builder object and pass in the interface of destination service. So this will return the instance of the class that implements the interface. Let's call it destination service. And then I will use the object reference to call the function get destination list, which is present here within our interface. And this function will return the call object, which will be responsible to fetch list of destination from the server. So on the left I will use val request call, which will be of the type of call list destination. And then I will use this call object to make a network call asynchronously. So for that I will use the method of enqueue, which again expects the anonymous inner class object that implements the callback interface. So I will now define the anonymous inner class and use the interface. And then I will use the lambda expression and here I have to import it, select retrofit to dot callback. Once you do it, you have to override two functions. The first will be the onResponse function and the another is onFailure callback. Pretty simple, isn't it? Now before I code further, let's take a look at few of the important classes and interface. You might be getting a lot of questions about what is this call interface, which we have here, here as well as here. Well, if you take a look at the documentation of this call interface, then you will find that this interface contains all the information about the HTTP request along with HTTP response. And this interface contains a lot of functions such as enqueue function that simply performs the request operation asynchronously in the background thread, which we are obviously using in our case enqueue. Fine. Now similarly, if you want to perform request in the main thread, that is synchronously, so for that we have execute function. Well, in a very rare case, you would like to use the execute function, generally in case of splash screen. Then we have is executed function, which returns true if the call is executed or it is enqueued. Then cancel function simply cancel the request. And is cancelled simply returns true if the call was cancelled. So in short, the call interface is very very important in order to make the retrofit network calls. Now within the onResponse function, we have the first parameter of call. And as a second parameter, we have the response object. Well, using this response, you can check if your network call was successful or not. And then using the same response object, you can call dot body function which will return the list of destinations. And now it's time to cut the statement that we earlier commented and paste it here. Simply uncomment this and then replace the destination adapter parameter by destination list that we are getting here. And also make sure to import this adapter class. So now it is time to run our application. Go to the list activity. So here all the data that you can see here is coming from the server. That is from this file such as list of destinations. Perfect. Now the code that you can see here is a very generalized code that we will use in our future videos as well. So let me walk you through all the steps again. First you need to get the reference to your destination service. Once you get it, using that object reference, you can call your desired functions. And then you can use the request call and perform the network operation. 
Thereafter, you will receive the response either inside on response callback function or inside on failure function. Now there are a lot of things that I can discuss about on response and on failure callback functions. So let's discuss it in detail in the next video. See you there.